As you guys know, Marcus Rashford is not just a football player. He's now a political activist. He's a campaigner, he cares about his own causes, and he's got a lot of following. There's a problem here, because as Sky Sports News said recently, that Rashford's use of social media will be added to the GCSE Media Studies curriculum. Because Marcus Rashford himself constantly comes out and says that I'm just a one-man band, I'm just doing my own thing, if these are my thoughts, I tweet, I go out there, I start campaigns, there's no team around me. There's no one behind me telling me what to do. Well, it's not true, is it, Marcus? Because we've now discovered he's been exposed. Because there's the guy who's been causing a lot of trouble. Some of the causes that he's done, a lot of people support it. That's fine. Some of them slightly goes too far in terms of being very, very political and essentially just anti-government or anti-Tory. There's the issue that we have is that one of his agents and part of the team behind him, the PR agency, these people who obviously control a number of Twitter accounts. They tweeted on his behalf, Marcus Vasher tweeted, Happy Monday, I see the doctor on Friday for a consultation, all being well, I will get the green to join in with the contact training again. So he forgot to actually say green light. Quote retweeting it to fix it, says light, green light. I suppose I was so happy to tell everyone I missed the word, ha ha ha. But the guy who tweeted on behalf of Rashford forgot to change the account. So he actually tweeted on his, using his own account. Then he fixed it, obviously. They deleted the account and said that, ah, oh, going to use Rashford's name. Not only that, the Twitter account is completely gone now. The agency are now in hiding because they don't want to be exposed. Why? What, what is the issue here? We've already had a lot of celebrities and uh, sports personalities who do a lot of campaigns and causes using some sort of PR agency or campaigners. I mean, you could have a view on whether celebrities should even get involved with politics, but it's you know, free society, it's democracy, just let them do whatever they want. You know, if you don't want to, just ignore them. But they usually say, there is a team behind me. They usually say that, well, this is what we believe in. Marcus Rashford has been, dis been completely lying to people and his own supporters and kids. A lot of kids who now look up to him, believe that these are his words, believe that Rashford has his own views and tweets everything that he says is actually just Marcus Rashford. Well, it's not really true. We already know, because <clears throat> this this was exposed quite recently about uh, one of the, the agencies and com these com companies that work behind the scenes for these celebrities and personalities. And so the Rock Nation Sports International, uh, they have their um, headquarters in London, founded in 2008. <clears throat> now, they've been... Uh, in the entertainment industry and other areas, uh, working with athletes, TV shows, films, music labels, they run these accounts. They also, of course, been behind the BLM protests and uh, they've been advocating for certain very, very hard left ideas and values. They're not completely neutral. All the causes they've been supporting, like many others in that industry, have been very, very left wing. And they want you to believe that these harmless, ordinary, very, very rich celebrities, when they come out to talk about a cause, it's not political. They just want to feed the children. They don't care about socialism. The people behind them are definitely not using people like Rashford as puppets, as their mouthpieces, to actually just do what they want to do and talk about what they want to talk about. It's a lie. Do not fall into the same trap. This story that came out about um, Rashford's use of social media being added to the curriculum, that's a bit too far now, because you're now going to be using, just like how the media agencies use Rashford, people like Rashford, as a puppet to be the anchor of their socialist values, now we're going to have schools and the education system using Rashford as a puppet to brainwash kids further. This is a problem, and it definitely has to stop now. Now, as most of you know, I am still in Croatia. I'll be back very soon, and uh, next week, well, actually, towards the end of the week, uh, until Wednesday, we're going to uh, cover the party conferences, and we're going to go to Tory conference, and I'm going to be very tough. I'm going to interview a lot of uh, Tory politicians and activists, but also, uh, this weekend, we're going to have a special interview with the author of A State of Fear, um, but definitely check out the link in the description if you want to watch the interview, but also the, the coverage of a uh, Tory party conference next week, then go to my 2 c Dot co dot uk. Uh, you could support the channel by either becoming a member. They could either do it monthly or do an annual one-off payment, or you could use the PayPal link in the description and join the independent media movement against the complacency of the mainstream media.